So, as I mentioned before, there was a jump scare right here. I assume it's not gonna happen again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're jumping right into Alan Wake 2 today without any introduction. In the last episode, we were told by Ati, I think his name is. He's just right ahead there. That we have to go down to the basement. I think we have to turn on the generator or something like that. So let's jump right into it and let's go. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. Yes. But look out. It was a generator. I knew it You was. can never know. <laughs> In which tree the devil sits. Okay, Ati. The basement. Thank you. Thanks. So yes, the basement we must go. And if you watched the last video, we actually go in we actually went into the basement ahead of time. And we had like that jump scare down there. So that was something. <laughs> So I'm wondering if we're going to still get the jump scare this time. I hope we don't. But or maybe there's going to be something else down there. I, I don't really know. But we're going to find out. Uh, yeah, so it's been like what, a couple weeks, actually, I think, since we played this game. Maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm trying to regain my... Is having one of his drunken fits again. Hey, Saga! Welcome to the emergency muster point! <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, shit. Um. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, FBI though. FBI business. Very informative. Thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by Artie, now, then they just aren't spoke coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Mm. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. I love Take how there's like an emergency the happening Norman. and she's just there on the couch right here, knitting. <laughs> well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Yes, yeah, stay on the Until porch. it's safe. I'm while happy the, uh, to get out of that house. FBI it's a deal and with I've this. I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building. The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Are you Manny injured? May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. I guess it came it, from it's the... nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Uh Speaking sure of is a beautiful night. Huh, monsters. Nice and uh, stormy. Don't go getting any ideas, Norman. This is the designated muster point. Not I a need date. To turn on the Okay, actually, I think that might be a little bit too loud. I thought maybe the volume was down. 
Why are we out here again? Artie said we'd be safe on the porch. Safe from what? I bet Tor is having one of his drunken fits again. Oh. How do we... We gotta go back inside. Oh. Is that... Oh, I thought that was like a puddle that we can... Go into and... These sounds happen. I get goosebumps. <laughs> okay. So the basement. Oh. started that was uh, <laughs> an epic um, okay there's the uh, base that was an epic entry into this video so as I mentioned before there was a jump scare right here so I, I assume it's not gonna happen again <laughs> was wrong I was very very wrong it almost seems like there's more stuff down here this time than there was the last time we were down here I still can't believe that jump scare happened again though I think we're good on health uh Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay. We're good. So I think the generator is like right here. We gotta go through here. Wait. The power's off. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I am so spooked right now. Okay, that's just uh there's probably fuses in there, I'm assuming too. Cause House of Zane, renowned filmmaker established I should probably just read this House of Zane renowned renowned filmmaker establishes artist commune in Bright Falls Thomas Zane 
and his partner Barbara, Barbara Yeager have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town. And the couple has already settled in. In his home country and interna internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. So does that mean the Alan Wake part is, I don't know. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became a reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. <laughs> While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of Ill illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. Okay. Thomas Zane. Yeah, there's not much. What's this? Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. through there right now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Code is 273. Oh, what the fuck? Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave myself alone. I think they hate me. BB. Code is 273. Oh, wait. There's a lockbox. I think it's just something like that. Let's go check it out. Do you need some of that? This is it. Wait, two, two, seven, three? I think. Oh. Fuse, okay. Well, we got one fuse. That should help us. The fuse could come in handy. Oh, it's gonna come in handy, my dear. We're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> we ain't staying down here much longer, I tell you that. I'm not. Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, oh, so that was the fuse we needed. We didn't have any other. Man, those sounds. There. Power's back on. Okay, so how do we... Wait. Oh, we can quick save. Perfect. I'm also going to do a... A manual save. 
Um, yeah. Because I tried to go back and play a few days ago, basically to do one of those photo shoot things for a video, but I couldn't do it because, uh... Rescue tour from the overlap. Find anger's remorse. Shirt sure, Cynthia's room. Okay, so we gotta go back to that godforsaken nursing home. Oops. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. It's way too quiet. It was too late. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. It was underwater. in here. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Building the Valhalla nursing home. Let's go check it out. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Okay. Nothing of interest. I guess we gotta go into. God damn. Oh. There we go. Ooh. Oh, maybe I should turn down the volume. <laughs> God damn it. It's in quite a bit of a mess. Oh, look at that. 
before we go check that out. What's this? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone, the lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. Okay. The shadows are moving. There is no more light. No more lights or no more lamps. I can't find it. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us, Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom but it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies, he was a poet, a magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment, supposedly, supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right, I know it isn't. Cool. Profiling, God, this creepy shit. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies, and a fancy hotel. Just his imagination, a nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said, a man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark, the light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Coolio. Um, I guess we gotta go check out that dark presence. <laughs> Let's go take a look. A power station. Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. Well, she scratched I'm something. guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Case board. Uh... For later, so we can't do this. Uh, not, not goals. Wait, why? Am I forgetting something? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Okay, I think I already did this. Yeah, because there's no clues. 
And these were the later ones, yeah. Email pressuring Blum to recruit cult members. Vladimir Blum. Yeah, yeah. Working at the nursing home, Blum would be well positioned to recruit the Andersons. Email about recruiting Tor and Odin to the cult. Oh, wait. Oh. There we go. Looks like the cult was leaning heavily on Blum to recruit Tor and Odin. The Anderson brothers. An entry from Cynthia's journal. She was afraid hearing whispers. <clears throat> Cynthia's fears made her vulnerable. That's how she became a Taken. Yep, she definitely is. Oh, so we can't do these still. Okay. What is this? Tor's a romantic, huh? For a very special woman, T. Oh, we got one. A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? <laughs> Anger's remorse. There we go. By old gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta get out of this goddamn nursing home. So, what's our goals again now? Rescue tour from the overlap. Use the record in the jukebox. Okay. The jukebox was downstairs. Enough with the jump scares, please. <laughs> okay. Enter the overlap in the pond. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. Oh. The cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever. Seeking to be heard. Okay. Driven by passion, with thunder Wow. All right, guys, we are officially. 
in the overlap and I am very very spooked we've already had like four jump scares in about a half an hour or, or less actually and who knows God knows how many more we got left I think I can only handle another half an hour of this Falls record. The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. The local girl Noah Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. The cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of yoke local use at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. acquaintances. <laughs> police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. I'm going to keep to the handgun, to be honest. I don't want to use my shotgun ammo as of yet because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do some boss fighting once again in this uh, next overlap here. So. This isn't real! This place. Yeah, I agree. Beware the drowned lady. All right, I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. Beware the drowned lady. Oh my god. Am I going in circles? <laughs> yep. We are certainly going in circles. I feel like something is changing. I feel like I've been here before. Or am I just being an idiot? I don't see the uh I think I'm lost. This doesn't feel like the right way. I don't know. Wow. 
Why are we... Oh, wait. Sound design, man, is incredible. It's definitely creeping me out. <laughs> God damn. Let's go on. Man, this place. Oh. No power. Can't use the switch. Got something. Oh, wait. This will turn on the power. I need to get the power on to use the switch. guys the wall just disappeared the light did that wonderful it's very dark is there a quick save here? Doesn't seem like there is. Oh wait, what's this? Inventory full, well. That is good news. Oh, that's the, um, sis. Okay. It's like the, uh, the Alan Wake thing. Wait, we already came here. Door. Some things have changed. FBI, freeze. Okay. Uh, guess we need to go this way. 
Or is this the right way? I almost wonder. Maybe. Yeah, I think we. Locked. The key has to be nearby. Too quiet. <laughs> All right, we're stocking up, but there's no way to get out, it seems. Can't use roses. Key fob. Obviously, none of this will work. No. Inventory full. What's in here? Oh, is that the key? Ah, oh, yes. Fuck yes. There we go. The big tools. Trophy. So where was that um, thing that we had to go to? I saw the... Assuming it's back down here, I honestly don't remember. Should have taken note. Yeah, it's not here. So, must be back. I'm gonna go back and do the, the light stuff. Wait, I'm just going to take a quick look down here. Yeah, no. Okay. Turn this on. And turn this off. Oh, yes. Ooh. 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 What the fuck? That's all taken care of. And the hole has been made in here. Okay. Let's take it off. Or is this just a quick save area? <laughs> all that work for a quick save area. 
Oh, we gotta go down here. Yes, please use your flashlight. God damn, guys. This game. Writing a story. Please put on that flashlight, my dear. <laughs> I'm not uh, looking to be spooked any further. But, uh, yeah, what's down here? Oh, it's the same spot. Okay. Game saved. Well then. Back again. Gotta go deeper. Deeper and deeper we go. I guess they're trying to make it look like uh, the basement. Game saved again. Something is coming. Tor. Where are you? Can you hear me? It's so dark. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. Tor, I'm here. I'm coming! What's this gonna do? <laughs> You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. She's under the water.
So we gotta basically get up onto high ground. Where's the power? No way to this is it for me. Wait, what's all this? there. Nothing here, damn. Do we just have to keep shooting her? I gotta say, this is uh, a pretty interesting boss segment. I'm just really just checking everywhere. Making sure I'm not missing anything. But I feel like there's something I almost feel like we gotta go inside there somehow, but I don't know how to get in there. Wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? No, we do not need that. Oh, speaking of stuff. Oh. 
There we go. Now we can get on it. I'm not liking the red light. Turn on the lights. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. How do we <laughs> get back? Oh, this is it. Saga is getting pretty wet. Game saved. It's cold. Dark. Defeat Cynthia. So we haven't even defeated her yet. Damn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Is there oh looks like there's um Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. We gotta defeat Cynthia. That's gonna be interesting. Oh. Oh my god. Give me a chance. Oh my 
my god. No ammo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, that was just insane. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I'd beat her. A little bit easier, but... Uh... The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. Help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. What about the clicker? You can help. We must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. <laughs> That's my job. Now, an old bastard. I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie fine. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Perfect. End of chapter. Look him. You and I need to talk. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Profiling. Okay. Well, it's not nighttime anymore, thank God. Won't have to deal with any more of uh, Cynthia's jump scares. Whoa, what the fuck? I need to go back. Got a case to solve. <laughs> Didn't think that would happen. Okay. Um, we gotta go to the case board. Let's go down to the bottom. Figured all this out already. So this goes here. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Oh, yeah, we already did that. Fact versus fiction. Doesn't look right. There we go. What man did Tor drive away? My father? Wait, did we have more? No, we didn't. The story. 
area around an overlap is always flooded. Does the overlap cause the flooding? I entered the dark place by playing Tor and Odin's song. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark place's focus on art? For later, for later, for later. Okay. And I think this one is like broken or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Gotta do the profiling. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. But they actually have a damn right I do. An actor for the Grand Odin already <laughs> told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies, past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons are bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind power. place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their place. thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? I see the grandfather. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Okay, let's do... You said you um, were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. So she had At the, the mind the place since she was a, a young girl, it seems? Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp. Get your guitar roaring. 
and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's gotta be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. Hmm. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Guess we gotta find Alan Wake, I guess. But he was taken by the FPC, I think. Like two videos ago, or the last video, I can't remember exactly which one. Um, wait, what is this? Nope. Okay, this will go here. So wake writes a story. The dark place makes it change reality, and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense? Because Wake wrote the story. Only Wake can hmm. edit it. There we go. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Only and Wake I'll need to keep story. an eye on him. Not much time left. Need clicker to make the to make the fix permanent. The Anderson family is immune to the effects of the story because of a hereditary power. Uh. Oh, okay. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. The horror story can't because of who I am. Memories, but I'm still affected by because of my family. Case closed. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. I rescued Tor Anderson, my grandfather, from the dark presence. Wake fucking wrote Logan into the story. She's in danger because of him. Within Scratch's reach, I need to I need Wake to write an ending that will save her. Okay. Oh my god, so many. Tor and my father had problems. There was trouble. Freya took me away after that. Was Tor the reason my father left? It sure sounds like it. All Andersons have powers. Mom never told me about them because she thought they were dangerous. Wanted me to have a normal life. <laughs> They can communicate with me here because they have something similar because we're family. I wonder if we're going to end up seeing uh, Saga's mom in this. That would be pretty interesting. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous, didn't want me around it. The way there Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. Tor, not a good dad. But Rufus, he is genuinely sorry. My father away was the last straw for mom. Our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Uh... <sighs> Wait. Oh, okay. This will explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else's. The mind place isn't some mental technique. It lets me inside people's heads see the truth. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place. I'm a Thanks to their own powers. People's heads. Tor plus Odin aware of mind place because they have powers too. <laughs> Torn Orman understand the true nature of the mind place. Whoops.
There we go. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. To me. Evidence adds it's a lot to process. For later, for later. Okay. Um, is there a... Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro Perfect. will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, <laughs> your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. She accepts it now. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey! Do you read me, Casey? Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station to wake. Okay. Oops, something. Bright Fall Station. Oh, Get this the is a new to wake case. And make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. Got, I've got to get to. I've got to get the clicker into Wake's hands and mix, make him fix this ASAP. But he's still in FVC custody. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna stop it there for tonight. We finished this chapter. I'm pretty satisfied with that, to be honest. And uh, I'm gonna leave it off there for the next video. So make sure you click like down below and we'll see you in the next video because as I've said many times before, it's about to get interesting once again. I didn't even count how many jump scares we had, but there were at least five, maybe six. So for a video that's only about just under a, an hour and a half, like I find that pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one for, I think this would be chapter six or seven. I can't remember. I think it's seven. Anyway, hope to see you guys soon. Take care and have a good day or a good night wherever you are. Peace.